Rumours from the lands of the YouTube comment suggestion have suggested that perhaps uh, High Chancellor Top Bog, the priest hater of House Spoth of Ashai, has forgotten his duties as the herald of the old gods, the forgotten and buried gods under the labyrinth of Lang. No, no, you are wrong. The councillor is going to prove you wrong right here and right now with a declaration of conquest. We're going to annex Lang. Uh, it's no longer under Yeeti. Yeeti is fractured until another emperor rises up to perhaps unify it. Looks like one of them might be trying right now, as your emperor, Bubar of Yeetai, seems to have quite a lot left here. So, let's grab it while they're distracted, because they will obviously go for this if we don't. Once it's unified, a shy... So, so we've done a sort of three-step plan here. Number one, build up our power base. Number two, stabilize the realm, as, as we did last episode, when we annexed all of the Shadowman territories and gave them to our... Um, rulers, uh, rulers of our house to help control the Shadow Men a little bit. Now, we, with the third step, expand, take Lang, and have the old gods protected under a Shy. That's a great idea. And then eventually, you know, some of you think that when I convert to a Shadow Binder that I'd lost my way, but no, that's, that's not the truth at all. We're going to create a hybrid religion of the Shadow and the old gods. I think the old gods would be a fan of shadows. They literally live in a labyrinth underneath this, this cursed island. So they're all for, they're all for Shadow. Okay then, let's do it. Let's launch the Dragon Conquest. We haven't done this before. In fact, I didn't think we could do it because we were a republic. Um, one of these must be true. Government is republic. Uh, oh, we, but we must... Not, okay, so if we don't have a liege, um, then we're fine. But if we do have a liege and we're a republic, we can't launch the Dragon Conquest. Okay, understandable. Let's do it then. We've got more than enough men. Uh, we have 7,200 men there, and he has... Oh, 9,600. Now, now, we do have enough men when you consider the fact that we're a dragon rider. You know, that's that's going to be the big thing here that's going to turn the entire tide of this war around. Let's put the boats to here as well. I probably should have embarked you boys before we send these things off. Shit, we've got 122 boats coming in from Manticore. Um, we upgraded that place way more than I thought. All right, here we go. Auto saving. Thank you. Just in case this goes tits up, I can reload and none of you will know. Your, ex <laughs> Your Excellency, Hank Thranridge has been defeated. Uh, classic Hank. Who? Gar now it's Garris Thran... Who the fuck was Hank Thranridge? He's a wildling. Oh, the wildlings have taken control of Westeros. Oh, they breached... Oh my god, they didn't just breach the wall. They've conquered most of the goddamn place around. What about to the Aztecs? Remember the Aztecs turned up last episode? I wonder if they actually made any progress here. Um, not that I can see. That wasn't the wrath of the old gods. So that was just announcing that there was an Aztec ruler. So we're, we're expecting to see some Aztecs turn up in Westeros sooner rather than later. We'll keep a close eye on that. Um, as for the rest of Essos... We're doing all right. We haven't got anything to worry about right now. Yeezy were definitely the biggest threat. And, and obviously, with those guys gone, it's all a shy. Uh, Kerps Boff, you are terrible. You're useless. You're actually not too bad at all. Um, martial education for you. Do I want to spend 154 gold? Absolutely not. You get basically nothing. Oh, okay. Right. So, we're trying to kill Crank Spoff, our aunt, who last episode asked us for the city of Stigai. We said no because, you know, understandably, she's terrible. And I don't really want to give her any of my land. But... In the Game of Thrones world, it's customary to give your extra titles away to the people of your house. So, if we didn't do this, then um, we would become a tyrant. We can promise to do it later and then kill her off in the meantime, which is exactly what we're doing. Poisonous Viper is going to send its regards. Uh, a shy never forgets. Let's go for, or is it an elephant? I have no use for another retainer. Sell it. No, absolutely welcome to court, and then we'll sell you off. Now, what I want to do is get a real move on with the Alchemist Guild stuff. Time to do business. Please, someone buy him for the love of God. Five gold. Five gold. Five gold. Give up on it. Um, building out to be killed in Manticore Isles. We, we did that ages ago, but it actually didn't work. I'm going to cancel the mission and hope they could, they just offer to teach us wildfire, because that's what we need to rank up. Um, to If we hover over this, it should say, learn how to make wildfire. That's all we need. So, hopefully they'll give us a mission to learn how to make wildfire. But I think... Interesting. I think... I, did this not happen all the time with the freaking zebra? I think... Um, if we don't have an alchemist guild, we can't actually rank up anyway, so we might have to build one in Ashai itself. Whilst holding court, a group of Jogos Nahai warriors, I was talking about these last episode, what uh, was presented to you? Okay. Their leader expressed an admiration they had for you and presented you as a gift of a young Zor stallion. Striped black and white mount that the Jogos Nahai ride on the plains. So these are like um, horse-zebra hybrids, but they're bigger and more muscular and quite powerful. Thank you for this fine gift. We get a horse into our treasury. We've got rid of the kingdom of Kadim, blah, 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 blah. Then we take a look at our Zorse. Look at this thing. Striped black and white mount. So it doesn't actually do much. It just gives prestige. I, I assume we just got it, like, kicking around like a zoo. And here we have it. The Land of Shadows. A shy, the past beneath the shadow. A solemn place of quiet turmoil where the placid nights are punctuated by the echoed screams of the demons beyond the mountains. 
Here, no spell is forbidden. No Torch to Dark and no Taboo Forsaken. And I am their ruler. Top box buff. We actually got the Shadow King event. I proclaim myself the Shadow King. A monarchy is established in a shire with the High Chancellor Top Bog being crowned as king. We gain 150 prestige and the crown of shadows. Or we say no, the Republic will be around. There has never been a single ruling family in a shire. Obviously, we name ourselves the goddamn Shadow King. Your bid to become Shadow King has gathered enough support in the realm. So everybody's such a fan of it that they're, they're completely fine with this happening. And so you decree establishing a monarchy in a shire with House Spoff as the ruling dynasty is passed. An elaborate new crown has been forged for you to use, and a grand coronation is held in the city immediately. All of your new vassals shall be present, but none are pleased with the new state of affairs. Well, oh, not all are pleased, I should say. All hail his grace of House Spoff, King of a Shy. Primary title, Succession Primogeniture. Excellent, that's just what I wanted to hear. And we gain the castle of a Shy. Government is changed to feudal, and 500 prestige. In hindsight, I'm really glad we didn't upgrade our house too much, because obviously that is gone right now. We keep our trade posts and everything. Um, but the, the actual house of uh, House Spoff is, is gone. We've usurped the title of the Castle of Ashai from this random dude. Uh, and there we have it. Look at this. Large Ashai Castle gives us apparently a lot of archers. Oh, a lot of heavy infantry. Holy shit. And we've got gold mine here. Oh, that's awesome. Economic infrastructure is being built. We can actually build something else here as well. We probably want to go ahead and grab the Shadow Gates and everything else. Um, now, I assume we can't hold cities. No, we absolutely can't hold cities as this dude. We do have the Castle of Stigai, so that's fine. So we'll make that the county capital, and then we'll get rid of the city of Stigai. Now, I have a feeling that event was impossible if we weren't a Shadow Binder. Uh, partially the reason why I convert that was so we could actually become the Shadow King, you know? That's cool. Named ourselves the Shadow King, and now we take Lang. What? That's another one of the major goals of the campaign, White Soft Man. This is going to take a lot, uh, a lot less time than I thought. We might get everything done in 100 years. All right, then. Um, Lang. You are on my hit list, my friend. Okay. Um, how are the troops doing? How many men have we got now? More to the point. Uh, what are we looking at? Boom. Was that another 6,000 men we just raised then? Holy shit, now we're up to 14k. Who said being feudal wasn't a good thing? You have a new heir. You will now play as Prince Brap of Shy. Obviously, Primogenture is a bad thing in the sense that our crap son is now in line to inherit. Our crap heart attack ridden son. Um, the lunatic son of Shy. Maybe we could just kill him. Fabricate treason, throw him in prison, execute him, but we would get Kinslayer. Uh, we could kidnap him and have him quietly die. Might not be a bad idea. I might just kill him off. So the, the actual Ashai Republic is still around. Don't get me wrong, that still exists. So it's not like we, we completely overthrew the entirety of the Republic there. It's just under somebody else and we've obviously taken control of, uh, of the kingdom instead. So we're, we're like a dual government, but these guys are going to give us a shit ton of taxes, which is quite nice. Okay, wrong type of holding. What have we got? Oh, we've got the city of Manticore Isles. Sure, we'll, we'll make this one the county capital and we will give that one away. I want to hold on to the Manticore Isles, obviously. All right, let's do it then, team. An opportunity to abduct Prince Brap has arisen. One of the Lord's personal guards are proven amenable to bribery. So basically, while we're at war, while he thinks we're distracted, we could snoop, swoop in and grab him. 42% um, chance of a success. 22% chance of the disaster. That's when he finds out. Let's do it. Proceed with the plan. Oh, shit. Increase dishonor by 10. And we gain the trait dishonorable. Uh, that's not good. So that's going to give us a minus 10 general opinion. All right, um, you need to be overseeing the round. You need to be performing statecraft because that's how you remove the dishonorable trait. It decays uh, five every five years. Um, oh, ten every ten years. Well, I suppose that is still five every five years, but obviously, you know, the trait won't go for another ten years' time there. A uh, little bit shitty. A little bit shitty. Diplomacy minus one, general opinion minus ten because we did try and kill off our son. Uh, I'm going to keep the plot going, though, naturally. Uh, we'll try again. We'll just keep trying until eventually we get rid of him because now we've started down this path. Why not go for it, eh? Uh, plot to kidnap. 78% because the less people like us now, I assume. How much ca cash are we bringing in, though? Oh, My money. Um, turns out the Republic itself is obviously bringing in a, a nice amount of cash here. Um, your talents will be useful. Who are all these men kicking around that aren't ours? North Shadowlands. We need to revoke titles from all of the tribesmen. Um, what can we do in terms of laws, then? Realm Authority Maximum won't do anything. It'll just make people uh, dislike us quite significantly for some extra levy size. That's definitely not worth it. Um, there doesn't seem to be a way... Oh, man, the council are fully empowered. Let's get rid of that. And then let's see, maybe maybe if we can uh, uh, denounce them as traitors, we fabricate treason, incite revolt, anything like that. Maybe that would give us reason to revoke their titles. So we can try and get rid of the Shadowlands. The Zorse has grown into a mighty stallion, and due to its ferocity, has been kept at its own stable, lest it kill the horses. And the man that tames the beast and rides it into battle would surely earn the respect of lord and peasant alike. 72% chance of taming it. We've tamed a dragon. I don't think a horse is any much of a risk, eh? Boom. 
Hey, look at that. That's cool. As you approach the wild source, you try to recall all you know about how to subdue a strong stallion like this. At first, the beast balks at your presence, bucking and kicking fiercely. So we gain 50 prestige. We gain the trait Zorse Rider, Marshal plus one. And um, people are impressed by me. Oh, specifically the Beast Tamer. Oh, great. Well, that's that's the that's exactly the guy I wanted to uh, impress here. That's cool, though. Zorse Rider, I've never seen that before. What, what is that? Is that permanent, I assume? Uh, no. I assume it's, it's, it's another... What's that? 11 years? So maybe it's just until the Zorse dies? Horses tend to live longer than that, though. Crown of Shadows. Put it on my head. What does that give us? That's all opinion plus three. It's not a huge amount, but obviously it will help out a very small amount there. Um, a lot of people hate us. Understandable, it's probably mostly the Shadow Men. Yeah, you know, it's entirely the Shadow Men that hate us. Shadow Binder of Stinger, you really don't like me. Upset. Again, probably because we usurped uh, usurped the realm, basically, and, and made a shy hours via not very lawful means. Okay, Lang, you're next on my kill list. Let's head around here, drop the troops off, and just scorch the place, yeah? Um... What do we have, then, going for us? So we are leading these troops, aren't we? Uh, yes, we are. All right, we're fine, then. Do we have any better commanders? Because these guys are crappy. Um, Engu and UN, welcome. My God, I need to check my honorary titles here a second. This is not looking good. Uh, yeah, I, I think some of you might get sacked. Probably where the game's automatically dishing out honorary titles. We could just assault it down rather than risk the dragon. Oh, now I'm going to risk the dragon. 4,000 men, that's way too many. Um, those must be the Lengi's army. Yeah, um, Northern Shadowlands, they're getting crushed by them, it doesn't matter too much, it's not going to affect our war score. Deployment in the siege, kill them all, Dracarys. Hey, have his family put in irons, and that is, uh, obviously just basically won the war for us there. We, we are going to try and take everything, we'll also conquer Tiki as well, wait. Ashai already? Oh no. Oh, that belongs to them, oh shit. Oh, people are already here though. Apparently there's an Ashai noble family ruling the south of... A shy there, uh, ruling the south of Lang, sorry. So we definitely want to grab that one as well. Let's just keep torching this down. Um, proceed with the plan to kidnap my son. Tw fuck it. I mean, let's roll the dice. Who cares? Hey, we actually did it. He dies quietly. 86% chance no one discovers who it was. Boom. I've gained the Kinslayer trait. I wonder if people... Is that because people found out? Yeah, people found out. All right. People throughout Ashai are shocked by the scandal, which gets worse when it's revealed that Shadow King Topbog was behind the deed. Curses. Um, now we're a Kinslayer and I guess double dishonorable. Uh, that's not ideal. I'm doing it for the round. The general opinion minus 20. Kinslayer minus 25. Everybody hates me. Oh, shit. Um, Seize the Republic minus 40. Higher Realm Authority minus 20. Kinslayer minus 25. Dishonorable minus 20. No Murderer minus 10. Oh, shit. Um, maybe I should give, maybe we should lose some Realm Authority here. Give them plus 10. It's not much, but it will add up eventually, obviously. Let's put these boats down because they cost me a fortune. I did what I had to for the realm. Okay, I'm sure they'll forgive me. They should forgive me anyway for what I had to do there. Right, um... <laughs> who's next in line, dare I ask? Prince Limmer. Can we not just disinherit these guys? Oh, we can. Thank fuck for that. Um, now, they will gain claims on a shy, and there is a chance they can also go off and become adventurers and obviously come back with armies to take what they think they're owed. Craven, Content, Ruthless. You're not great. Um, Straying is obviously a daughter, same with Kerp, Prince Boffin. We'll wait and see how Boffin comes out. If Boffin comes out well, uh, he can definitely be the number one son. What, who, oh, we're already educating. I was about to say, what the hell's going on with that? Right, this is the... Oh, Yee-T army. Yeah, this is a good show of power. Hey, look at that. Oh, the mission was complete, but obviously it's a bit too late now. Um, can I learn... Can you Give me the mission. Hey, give me the mission. Uh, oh, wait. The, the, the head of the Alchemist Guild is, is our Alchemist, our Magi. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um... Well, we'll wait and hopefully they'll offer us the mission so we can start working on that as well. I'm going to move in here and torch the entire Yi army with the dragon. Boom. Kill them all. That actually did nothing. Do you want to master jungle terrain, war elephants, cavalry, or light foot? Um, what does our army most consist of? Heavy infantry. Well, that's not ideal. None of those things are right. I guess jungle terrain then? Does count as jungle? It must do if we're being offered it. I mean, it's, it's like all jungle beside, outside of a shy. Actually, actually, all of you, or almost all of UT there is jungle. Fine, we'll take jungle terrain then. Seeing as we're, you know, going to be leading our dragon into that. The Shadow Men are a constant blight on our lands. Don't I know it? We'll personally lead the attack against them because we are a very powerful and strong ruler. Uh, might as well siege that down. Lose the trait Brave. Oh, fantastic. It's, it's not going well at all, is it? Um, sneak into the camp. 55% chance of success. 59% chance of success if we charge in. Boom. Okay, we actually got very lucky there. You and your men approach the camp and it's silent until the screams of your troops as you charge. Gain 30 gold, 30 prestige. Thank you very much. Um, we are... Fucking auto-saved. This is not going as smoothly as I was hoping. Where are their troops? 
He's got 3,000 men that are just dying to attrition. These aren't anything to worry about. These are just... Wait, what? What do you mean? You can't just get independence. Oh, it was a peasant revolt against one of the vassals, and they succeeded. Oh, shit. Well, we'll go and conquer that for ourselves. Um, that way, it's also getting rid of some of the Shadow Men rulers under us, eh? Right, let's carry on with the war in Langmar. I think we just deploy the dragon everywhere and, and speed these things up quite quickly, because this is going to get a bit of a mess otherwise. Right, we don't really have enough men to assault it down or anything like that either, even to really siege it. 6,000 defenders on just a random castle. I mean, that's not ideal. Right, let's keep trying to burn it down. And we can only use the dragon once every week or so. Hmm. Why are you like this? Sunset Invasion. Thousands of exotic ships have arrived in Western Iron Island, spewing out numbers of hordes, uvulating warriors in weird armor, sporting feathers and bone. Great and stark. Uh, the descendant of Brandon the Shipwright. In fact, I was talking about this last episode. Uh, YouTube channel Lord Shift Deck actually put up a video about this dude um, and about what's west of Westeros. So go and check that out if you're interested. I'll put a link in that to the top comment or something for those of you interested in a bit, a little bit of the lore about why the Aztecs coming back to Westeros kind of a little bit makes sense. Um, or how that they've these guys have tied it in really, really nicely. God have mercy. 77,000 men. Well, the Iron Islands are going to get absolutely destroyed because this is before they were unified. Um, 22,000 men. And they've lost all their land because the Iron Islands at this start date start with all of the Riverlands. They've lost it all. The Aztecs are going to have a field day with those boys. Um, good. Mainly because the Aztecs are the only ones pretty much in Westeros with enough boats to take them out as well. So, um, kind of... Oh, shit. We're doing battle in Langmar. Tyveron has been unfortunately wounded. We're able to continue fighting. We're not going to attack again with the dragon then until that has been... Uh, until that's healed up because I don't want to risk my dragon becoming maimed. Right. Um, is it worth checking all the top level holdings? They've got so many garrisons though. Look at this. 9,000 men. What about this one? We've got 2,000 men there. Without a dragon, this war would be so difficult to do. Um, yeah, your talents will be useful here, by which I mean we're going to sell you off immediately. Um, sell slaves. So this guy is grey eminence, attractive, brave, kind. People will want this guy. 15 gold? I think there's a higher offer on the table somewhere. 15 gold. Well, I guess not then in hindsight. I, I, maybe it's attractive women that get the higher offers, not attractive men, which would make sense in hindsight. Do I want to do it? Uh, given the amount of garrisons in this one, I think moving out here using the dragon only in this one is a good idea. Like, we can't even siege it down, so I'm definitely going to use the dragon here, but, but probably nowhere else. 4% chance of maimed. This guy tried to fight the dragon, but was failed and now horribly burnt. Or there was a chance for him to be horribly burnt. He was wounded instead. Your Grace, I'm hesitant to ask, but the coffers from your law are subject to running dry from the upkeep. Um, 80 gold is distributed amongst all vassals, giving their increase their opinion by 5. That's that's really, really cheap for 5 vassal opinion. I'll take it. All right. This guy, uh, no, I don't want to buy any slaves, thank you. And you can marry as you please. Again, I, I don't really care. We've got bigger things to worry about. Aztecs have arrived in the Shield Sea. So the Shield Sea is in the Reach, which is down here. So this is the area known as the Shield. I imagine they're at war with, yeah, Sunset Invasion of the Reach. 189,000 men. What if this guy makes the Iron Throne? That would be incredible. Um, Sun God's Pagan. Can it be reformed? It can be reformed. They've added holy sites for it as well. That would be so cool if the Aztec sun god religion forms the Iron Throne. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Um, they've removed this guy from the council. Whatever in the shadow have mercy. Right. Uh, we need a new hand of the king then. You'll do. I vote in favour at the council's meeting. Hold the aggression of Sepsin Ithsa, who's invading my lands. Um, who is this person? Is he a shadow man? Because if so, uh, he is a shadow man. Yeah, I vote in favour of him. Um, the vote has been taken. The council voted against it. Shit. I can veto it and increase my tyranny by 10. No, no, no. The council voted against. I will let them let them have their fun and we'll just conquer them afterwards. Um, you know, I owe you nothing. I can't even afford it right now, to be honest with you. Oh, God. This is exactly what I wanted to expand when we did. Because now Yeeti have started to really get up their power base a little bit more. Is it still the same emperor? Um, it is. It's your emperor, Booba. It is the same guy. 17,000 men there. We need to beat him to all of these promises. Like, we need to take Leng very, very quickly, because this is also Yi T, right? So, the longer we wait, the more this dude's going to get. My god, his round tree is such a mess. This guy's 41,000 men. This guy's 41,000 men. Um, oh, wait, wait, I'm looking at the top level there. So, 41,000 men. Uh, this dude has 42,000 men. Christ, 31,000. They're in an incredibly powerful kingdom, eh? This guy looks a little bit like the Pope. They're an incredibly powerful kingdom. Jesus. This is exactly what we needed to hear. This is going to offer us so many ways of making money. It's going to give us a big offensive advantage if we can make wildfire. We thank you for your continued patronage of the Guild of Alchemists. As a sign of our trust, we would like to offer you the chance to make wildfire. Yes, thank you. So the way to do that is invite an alchemist to our court. Now, we've already got the head of the alchemist in our court, so I guess we can just... Yep, there we go. Right-click. Learn how to manipulate the substance. 97% chance of succeeding. 
3% chance of failing, but as you can imagine, if you fail to make wildfire, you can die, be horribly burnt, blow up the entire town. Um, I shall learn to manipulate the substance. Thank you, Grandmaster uh, she Sh Shalifneth. We've learned how to make wildfire and gained 200 esoteric knowledge, and now we can rank up, and I think we can make our fake valuables now. Absolutely can. Thank you. This is what we want to do. Create fake valuables. So it's 150 esoteric knowledge. We, are, we have 1,300. Do that as much as possible and just churn out a shit ton of, like, like fool's gold, gemstones, fake pearls, counterfeit silver currency. This one will give us straight up gold but lower tax modifier. These ones are different types of jewelry, which we can keep for ourselves and it acts as just regular old jewelry. Or we can try and sell it, but there is a chance we can be caught and lose, I think it's prestige. Um, I don't know. Let's make some fool's gold and see how that goes. No be able to tell the difference. We get some golden bracelets, or we can sell them for a profit and gain 50 gold. I think we'll keep the first set of all the ones we make, just because obviously that will give us, um, you know, jewellery, which is, which is great to have in the treasury there. Plus one vassal opinion. So it's it's the lowest tier jewellery, but again, we're, we're making it what is essentially for free. So I'm, I'm completely fine with that. And how often can we do that? Uh, that's once every three years. Okay, so it's, it's a kind of a long cooldown on it, but... Even if it's just like an extra 150 gold every every three years, it's not too bad. Like, it's something we can immediately invest it. We can immediately pay off a loan with it. If we need to hire a mercenary mercenaries, it's a nice little backup plan that we've always got available to us. They sent some troops back. Oh, no, that's ET. Oh, God. Okay, this is also... Oh, man. What a ridiculous boat bomb. Fuck it. Deploy the dragon. Kill them all. Nice. Okay, oh, wait. Did the dragon heal? Because it added the option to gain wounded again. Yeah, it's healed. Okay. Well, that's it. No time at all. That was pretty decent. Right, we need to tidy this up as soon as possible because I really don't want to get dragged into a war with UT and their 40,000 men or however many they've got. Dracaris, we are good. So that should be this one gone as well. 93%. All right, one more and I think we're good. So I am going to deploy the dragon again, much to my better judgment. I think this is kind of a risky plan. The Manticore Isles becomes Ashai. The Manticore Isles becomes a Shadowbinder and the colony is finished. Really great to hear because that was actually sapping up a bunch of tax, wasn't it? Um, Fended Moneylenders, I don't really care about that too much. Um, You've got to remember, that's also good to take into account when we get to, you know, get, getting getting our taxes again. It's good to remember that um, we are getting that 10% bonus eventually. Or, or losing the 10% malice is probably a better way to phrase it. Other council, Salme Malanen's position. Uh, again, I, I don't want to incur any more tyranny for Christ's sake. Right, they can siege this one, which is a little bit annoying, but we can deal with this in no time at all. Um, your talents will be useful here, and I'm immediately again going to try and sell you to try and not lose too much money during this. Five gold. I'll take it. Right, when are we going to get there? Apparently now. Boy, the dragon. Kill them all. Problem solved. Not worth the time to speak with you. Um, I'm sure they know what they're doing. Again, I'm not going to incur any tyranny there. We'll re-siege this one, and we should be done. 100% war score. Thank you. Look at that. Leng is under a shy. Oh, God. In the Realm, you will be seen as a tyrant if we don't give Strang Stigai. Oh, shit. I don't want to lose Stigai. I mean, I don't really have a choice. Treason? It's treason, then. I, th I feel like that's the only thing I can do. I don't want to try and kidnap another one. And uh, Custom Toolship 31, by the way. I don't want to try and kidnap another one and, and fuck it up and become... Well, I mean, we've already got Kinslayer. What's... That was the major problem with doing it last time. I, shut up, you guys. I, how dare you? I mean, what, what else was I supposed to do? Like, keep that title and give it to you guys instead? Instead, and incur tyranny? You people are ridiculous. Right. Let's go and tidy up these goddamn Shadowbinders in my realm. Get out of here. Um, allow the jewel. That's fine. You guys can kill one another if you want. I'm not going to stop that. Yeetie Shadow Embargo War. Oh, shit. Okay, we've only got 7,000 men, and we're, of course, Dragon Rider. Top levy. Uh, 46,000 men. Whoo! And what have we got, by comparison? Um, I'm going to assume it's it's only that... So we've got 25k, assuming we can get all our vassals involved, which clearly we can't. Um, funded by the high city of Voluntheris. Oh my god, that's miles away. It's the other side of Valeria. You will be remembered. Oh, you will be remembered. Negotiate annexation, did that say? Oh, that's cool. If we're in an alliance, we can try and annex people. Oh man, that's a nice little feature. Right, okay, we'll worry about that later on. This treachery will not go unanswered. I don't want to go to war with... Wait, why have Jin Kui joined them? Are they part of... What, are they like a... They're like a... An ally or something? Yi Ti have joined. Voluntaris have joined. And Jin Kui have joined. Oh my god. Um, That's a lot more men than I was counted for. What? What's the plan? They go on the defensive and just let them get wiped out by dragons? I, I can't really think of what else to do at this point. 
Yeah, let's do it. Okay, bring all the troops to a shy. We'll stand there, and we'll take them out with uh, dragons, because assuming they're just going to go for the capital, right? Uh, they won't bother with the man's score. They won't bother with Lang, so it doesn't give much war score there. All right, this is going to be a bit of a mess. We're encouraged by your apparent dedication to the alchemists. Well, uh, the deep... Wait, they're, they're going to... Oh, give us the opportunity to learn from a wisdom, which will give us... Um, Basically some stats in, in a particular area, depending on what we agree to learn. So we've actually got to leave court to do that. Man, I don't, I don't particularly want to do this right now. Um, seeing as we're at war with... Oh! Oh, this sounds good. Though millions may worship the god empress of Yi-Ti and prostrate themselves before him whenever he appears. The imperial writ extends no farther than the walls of the capital. The hundred princes of the empire rule their own realms as they please and do as... Brigands, priests, kings, sorcerers, warlords, and imperial generals and tax collectors outside of their domains. One such warlord, by the name of Zhulo Q, uh, Zhulo Yu, Yi, 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 look, point is, he's rampaging in the lands of Lorne Hussein, I can't read any of these fucking names. The authority of the emperor is weak. Get out of here, emperor. He's apparently our vassal? Leader of the host war? Okay, that's fine by me. Anything to undermine the emperors. Oh, man, I can't wait to wipe all these guys out. Holy shit, I'm so annoyed by them. Um, your talents will be useful here, because then I'm going to immediately ship you off. Uh, sell slave. You can go. Thank you. Please, anybody? Five gold? Anybody? Five gold? Just five gold is all I'm asking. Forty gold. Holy shit, thank you. I appreciate that. Right, again, we're going to play the defensive here, because there's absolutely no reason to go out and try and attack them in their own lands. It's jungle. We're not adapted to jungle. They've got to bring boats here anyway, which is obviously going to cost them gold, time, attrition. They're going to be boat bombing into us. Fucking shadow men. Shadow men again. We've got ET to deal with. I don't want to deal with shadow men as well. Fine. Lead the attack. Um, your talents will be useful here because I'm going to immediately, once again, sell you off. Um, sell slave. Goodbye. Time to do business, please. Five gold. Five gold. Five gold. Fuck. <laughs> Anything. Right. Okay. 59% chance of success. If we charge into their camp, let's do it. Oh, God. That's really bad. 21% chance of being maimed and severely injured. 5% chance of us dying. Wounded. Oh, that could have been a lot worse. Apparently, we're also a rebel leader. I mean, metaphorically, sure, we did lead a rebellion against the realm. Okay, there's a lot of guys kicking around. We should go and hunt them down. I wanted to defend the capital. Your dragon Tyvron is a ravenous beast. She regularly roams the lands of a shy, gorging on livestock. Well, again, I don't really care about that too much. Let, let them revolt, honestly. Um, Manpost will revert to the Shadow King, or we can give it away. Who is the best claim, then? Um, probably her husband. Cab she had no children. Uh, her father was the Shadow Chancellor. High, high Chancellor of, uh, K underscore D of the classic one, of course. But yeah, let's give it to her husband. Um, killed by the dragon Volon. Oh, she tried to... Wait, she tried to tame a dragon and died? She absolutely did. What a fool. Alright then, um, I'm really glad she was eaten in that case. Yeah, her, her widow can have it. Um, boom, there you go. I would grant titles to whoever I want, thank you, because I am the king. Um, although, not a very good one, apparently, seeing as we basically ripped the realm apart. Tans will be useful here. Oh, shit, these fucking ye tier everywhere. Um, no, you can... Yeah, I don't care about you right now. You're, you're on your own with the education thing. I've got bigger fish to fry. Um, you have been kidnapped. That's absolutely fine. I couldn't care less. Deploy the dragon. We've got to be very, very careful. I should really lower the speed as we get close to people. Conserve as many troops as possible. Just let the dragon do all the heavy lifting. He tried to fight the dragon and failed, because he's a fool. And now, everybody is dead. Good. Alright. Counter Siege. Those 500 men will die to attrition. They're commanderless. They're lost in the shadow. That's that's their own problem. Right. 3% war score, just because they, they control this. I mean, it is... Oh, they also control Lengmar, but that's not a big deal. Um, now, I don't understand how, how... How do they get war score from an embargo war? It is just taking provinces, isn't it? It's just your traditional sort of occupation while the capital being worth more. I don't think they have to particularly burn down trade posts or anything like that. Um, kind of annoying that this is happening when we're not even part of the Republic now, but hey, um, you know, I can't do much without that. Haha, -ha, he who laughs, last laughs the longest, last. Finally, that callous fiend, Lady Bicker, has left this fine earth. Um, I can find a new rival, I can get the trait kind to make everyone like me a bit more, or we feel relief. I'll get the trait kind, actually, um, just so people don't hate me so completely. Zero diplomacy. Oof, owie, my bones. Um... Fear minus 20. We've already got fear level 1, though, so the rot risk is lower. Our fear is 57.45435. Um, we're more respected. I'm not sure that's the right word for it. We're just feared. Um, feared and respected, not quite the same thing. Vassals are 30% less likely to join hostile factions or start plots. A ruler's level of fear is determined by the prestige, traits, length of reign, as well as their actions. This needs to be in the base game. 
I'm gonna be honest with you, this needs to be based game CK2 because it's such a cool little system. Like if you if you're playing as this horrifying tyrannical leader who executes everybody who rebels against him, I feel like there should be some sort of in-game measurement for people not wanting to rebel against you in the future. Yes, I'm aware there are 18,000 men coming down. We've got a dragon, so who cares? Um, okay, like, like I said, turn the speed right, right down. We want to make sure we get this so precise before we start losing morale, because that's going to really make all the difference we can. 26th of March, a couple more days yet. Let's take it slow. Everyone prepare yourself. Say a rousing speech. Um, something, something, fifth dawn. We're good. All right. Here we go. 26th is the biggest battle we're ever going to fight, I think. Okay. Now, Smithers. We're in a desert. Smithers, we're in a desert. Run. Run, Smithers. <laughs> I was going to ask him to unleash the hounds, but in hindsight, uh, oh, God, we're going to get destroyed. A uh, song called Spot Top but Hilarious. Yep, Top Bog. Ah, oh, really funny. Okay, you know what? We lost. Did all of their men just die to attrition instantly? Did you see that? Oh, no, no, they're following us. Uh, they're heading to the shadow. Shit, well, we can't fight them up there. Man, I've got to remember the whole mountain thing. Shit. Um... Let them have their fun, I guess, and we'll we'll deal with them later when they head back to the when they head to the city. You know, the important place for them to go. Um, I'll find us someone nice. Yep, yeah, you can you can do whatever you want. To be honest with you, right? We'll wait here. They are actually heading down from the shadow into us. When they're going to get here? Twenty fourth of August. Then the dragon gets to feed. All right, and this is definitely not map. Fuck. <laughs> um, run away. And haha! -ha, no one expected me to teleport. All right, now we'll just wait there. Ashai isn't mountain though. No, that is hills. Good. Okay. Um, I don't understand why. Is it because the no the city is clearly on the coast? I can see it's on the coast there. Um, I don't I don't like this system. I don't like this system. The dragons are OP, so I suppose this is a fair bit of balance for us. Say, right, another daughter. Yep. I don't care about this too much. I'll, I'll deal with succession later. Right now we've got to focus on not losing most of our economy. I humbly oh don't make me say this name. I'm not reading it. I will vote against sending the command so I don't have to write or read his name. Everyone voted against that. Thank you. Thank you, sensible people. Somebody tried to sell that slave back to me. Did you see that? Look, no bamboozle. That was live. There was no cut there. There was no cut there. I was just silent because I, I, I almost can't believe this. Um... Roll credits. Thank you all for watching. Next episode, we become immortal. Big shout out to my insane top tier level patrons making this series possible. Big to Timmy, Zachary Harris, Arik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydog, Zadini, Paul Necrofilan, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Jocelyn, Dean, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander, Fenton, Pelvis Presley, Logan Thorn, Spy C, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Sassy 1711, and Jackson Women. For that support at the insane tier levels on Patreon, thank you all for keeping the series going. Views are up and revenue is down. Classic, classic YouTube. And a big shout out to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brennan Tonic, Euphrates, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Vendors, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Johan DeVries, Don Conning 2 and 7, Seth McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, Chris, Surf All the Swede, Acero, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Eagle Cossack, Hazi. I almost got there. Haji Dumar and Noah Gallimore for your support on Patreon as well. Thank you for keeping the channel going.